Unfortunately, Sylvia, there is that possibility for more severe weather, damaging winds being our overall concern once again. I think it's a touch lower threat compared to Monday, but we really need to be vigilant here. And you can see that severe weather risk, the level three like we had on Monday, has expanded into the western air edges in the western parishes of Acadiana. So Acadia Parish, Jeff Davis, I think the higher threat is still just to the west to see the possibility of damaging winds like we saw on Monday, but nonetheless, it's going to be a close call. Most of Acadiana is still considered in that level two risk, which is a slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center. A lot of it's starting to originate there across really central and east Texas. We're starting to get some isolated showers and storms that we'll have to watch radar here over the next few hours just because the atmosphere is so ripe with instability here. Here's future radar. I would put it anytime after 5 to 6 p.m. So it's really going into those evening hours a little bit later in the evening hours compared to Monday's event. Uh, future radar sh certainly showing some intense thunderstorms just north of I-10 around that seven o'clock hour it still wants to bring in what looks like somewhat of a squall line here in the Lafayette around that midnight hour. So a uh, time frame right now for this evening between 5 p.m. to about 1 a.m. there into those morning hours of Friday. Then we get a break. Unfortunately, the severe threat and the heavy rain threat aren't over just yet. Another round coming in there for Friday afternoon after about 3 to 4 p.m. And I think the risk could even be a little bit higher to see damaging winds with the disturbance tomorrow. We have